What's up everyone, I'm Steve and I show you how to take the BS out of personal finance. Did you just come into some money recently? Are you swimming in cash? Did you just get this major money windfall? It could, could have been from an inheritance or maybe you got a bonus at work or maybe you won the lottery or something. Whatever it is, you just came into a lot of money. In this video, I'm gonna give you the top five ways to use that money smart and effectively. You ready? Let's go. And by the way, these are in order of importance. And stay tuned for the very last one, because even though that's the number five in importance, you're probably going to like that one the best. But let's start with number one. Start or top off your emergency fund or your rainy day fund. If you do not know what a rainy day fund is or an emergency fund, I talk about that up here. Click over and take a look. It is money that you use when you have an unexpected expense. Something happened. You lose a job, your car needs repairs, whatever, and you need some quick cash. If you do not have an emergency fund, definitely use this windfall to start one. I recommend six months. All the details are in the video linked above. And even if you do have an emergency fund, make sure you have at least six months. If you don't, top that sucker off so you have an entire half year that you can go without a job if you have to in the future. Second, and this is a really boring number two, but what are your tax implications? You don't want to spend or have that money tied up somewhere and not be able to pay taxes at the end of the year with that money because you might be in the highest tax bracket now because of that windfall. I will not be able to tell you your tax implications because I have no idea what money you got, where it came from, any of that. A qualified financial advisor or CPA will be able to give you those details. So be sure you know what your tax responsibility will be at the end of the year so you at least keep that money set aside Side so you're not scrambling next April 15th to pay your tax bill. Number three, pay down your high interest debts. And this is the debt avalanche payoff method. I talk more about that in this video here. It's where we prioritize high interest debts and pay those off first and then progressively go down the line. But the high interest debts are the debts that we're going to pay the most money on. So with this windfall, really consider chipping away at some of those debts. Or if it's a big enough windfall, pay off a couple of those debts, especially the ones with the highest interest rate. So you're not paying so much interest and you will save money in the long run by doing that. And number four, invest in appreciating assets. Now these are assets that we hope will increase in value like stocks or mutual funds or businesses. If you don't have a brokerage account, consider opening one of those for post-tax investments. Companies like Fidelity and Vanguard have brokerage account services that you can take a look at. But appreciating assets are what will build wealth over time. And by the way, you are an appreciating asset as well. So to invest in yourself, you might use some of that windfall to maybe go back to school and get a degree and use some of that money to pay your tuition. So it's not just about investments. It's not just about stocks and bonds and mutual funds. It could also be about you. If you want to go back to school and improve your skills, improve your experience, this might be a great way to use some of that money to accomplish that goal. And number five, again, you're probably going to like this one the best, enjoy some of it. The first four, we were being a little bit more responsible with that money, but we just got a windfall. So there's nothing wrong with enjoying some of it. But as long as it's some of it and not all of it or the majority of it, it's okay, it's okay to do some of those things, whether that's going out for a nice dinner or taking a expensive vacation, that's okay, but be honest with yourself and make sure that you're not spending the majority of your windfall on something that you're only going to enjoy or experience once or twice. If you buy a new car, if you buy a new house, remember that those expenses are going to stay with you for the long term, unless you have this huge windfall where you can pay it all off at once, or at least the majority of it, the majority of it off at once, those expenses are going to stay with you regardless of whether you spend all of your windfall or not. So I really encourage you to enjoy it, but enjoy it responsibly and make sure you don't overspend accidentally and get yourself into, into financial trouble 
later. We've all heard of sports stars that do this. They're making great money while they're playing, whether it's football, basketball, baseball, whatever, or e even in Hollywood, they spin like they will always have this money, but it's not always going to be that way and they might file for bunk bankruptcy or they have to sell their house because they're not bringing in that much money anymore. So really focus on being honest with yourself and enjoying that windfall responsibly, but still enjoy it. There's nothing wrong with that. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Comment below if you had a windfall. Let me know what you used it for. Subscribe if you're not already. Like this video if you liked it, if you found some value in it and you think someone else might some, find some value in it, share it with them. And last but not least, congratulations on that windfall. Enjoy it. Cheers and see you next time. Peace.